Before the video gets started, I'd like to say that I'm not a professional and this is my first time painting a car. I'm still learning the basics and how to do everything correctly, so just bear with me. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below or leave suggestions on things I could have done differently so I can do it better in the future. And that'll be it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we have sprayed two coats of primers and a moth has made its way inside of here but it's pretty dry to the touch. We're gonna let it sit overnight and tomorrow we're gonna sand it, see what it's looking like, see if we need to add a third layer, but I mean, everything has a little bit of orange peel. As you guys can see, I mean, it's not really orange peel. It kind of looks like a bed liner texture. You spray it on two thick layers. Like I wasn't going easy on it at all. Like there's a few areas that we need to do some body work. We knew there was a crack in this. We were just testing to see what this primer would do because it sprays on pretty thick, but obviously you can see there's a line there. So we're going to have to grind that out and fill it in and then spray it with some primer again. A little bit of where I had Bondo through the primer. So we're going to have to figure that out. There's little divots here. We're going to have to fill in with some red putty. Uh, there's this pretty deep one. We we're just trying to see how much primer could fill it in, but this is going to need some Bondo probably here. Look at that. It's just cracking really bad. So we're going to have to probably fill this stuff in a little bit but other than that everything is looking super good this primer is really good quality uh it's 2k high build primer we have the car pulled in we've taken all the parts out that have primer on them we've lightly sanded them but they're just sitting in there waiting to get sanded down again so we can paint them with paint uh we pulled this in here so we can get the jams done so we're gonna go ahead and do the jams today uh, we have most of the stuff masked off. We still have to clean the area and mask off the body so we don't paint the body. So we're going to do the door jams, the bottom of the trunk, the bottom of the hood, and the inside of the doors. And we're going to put that stuff back on so we can paint the whole outside of the car. We're going to go ahead and turn the lights on. I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. Pretty much, you can't tell, like, I mean, yeah, you can. We took scuff pads to it. We got it all scuffed up. You know, we weren't going to completely prep this down and prime it and everything we're just gonna go ahead and spray over it you know um, same with over here even though this is really dirty um we scrubbed the crap out of this and soaked it and we couldn't get it that clean so we're just gonna spray it, you know no big deal here we have the doors uh there is a little bit of rust that i need to clean up with a wire brush um we have the door jams things filled we're gonna go ahead and paint the bolts uh, i'm not gonna take this out and deal with all that it's a pain in the butt guys so we just got done spraying the clear uh, i did about two uh, i did i did three and a half coats i would say uh, i kind of went over a light a light ending layer just to use up the rest of the stuff in the gun so i don't waste it all right guys we have the lights off because there's bugs flying in here but here's what it's looking like real sparkly the door jams looking not bad see i told you guys all we did was use a scotch right pad and this is looking pretty dang good already. So at least we know the product is very good. This is really good product. So on the body work, we got it smooth. No doubt this can be looking like a mirror. I can already tell you that. Here's the door looking sparkly. Had some paint runs over here where this bug is actually. Um, you guys, you probably can't actually see it, but like right here, you guys can see the ripple kind of right there. There were some paint runs, but we got it sanded down and cleaned up pretty dang good so here's the trunk uh we had a problem with there being some spots uh you can see them a tiny 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 bit there's little tiny circles everywhere but you guys aren't going to ever see this part of the trunk but this color is looking very good um on camera it's more of a dark blue to me it's more of like a greenish blue it's super pretty though i can't wait to see this in the sun yeah, we even went ahead and did this up here, but look, there's bugs all over it. And my fingerprints now. Uh, so we did have the fan going over here for a little bit, and it blew some, quite a few bugs, but we're going to go ahead and pick those off when we get done. 
And this is a door game, so it's not going to matter. Even the door hinges is looking really good. I'll go ahead and flip the light on for you guys so you can see the trunk. Peeling off the masking and tape off the door. The paint is still wet, so you gotta be super careful when doing this. And I got I got so much tape down in here because I didn't want to get any overspray inside the door because I still have my window in here. And, um, but there is orange peel. Uh, I'm sure no matter which way we prep our surface, there's gonna be orange peel in the clear. So we're gonna have to do some research and figure out some good methods to get this orange peel out once we are done with the car all right guys so we have the trunk and one door on um completely bolted up everything uh it's looking good we have enough area to kind of work with the mask up on the other side so we don't get overspray in there um but we're gonna go ahead and straighten this out because we cannot get the door on this side so we're gonna get the door on and then we're gonna prep the car, get it ready to go for its primer and we're gonna mask it off again. Uh, we're probably gonna clean everything in here. I mean, it's just primer, but we wanna make it as smooth as possible so we don't want any debris getting in it. The roof, so we're gonna go ahead and move this. It's gonna be kind of difficult though. I can't see what I'm doing. So my dad's gonna have to tell me. I don't have any mirrors, so we're gonna try it. All right, guys, we're getting ready to spray the base coat on the hood and the spoiler. This is already pre-mixed, one-to-one -one ratio, so all we do is put it in the gun and we're good to go. All righty, guys, so the Mustang is dead, and we're getting ready to jump start it, and we're going to pull it out so we can wet sand and clean the booth, and then we'll fully clean it and pull it back in here so we can spray it with some paint. All right guys, we just got done sanding the whole car with 600. We wet sanded. As you can see, all the stuff is left over and dried on here. Uh, we're about to clean this with some MFK. We got told to use this, so we're gonna clean it real good. Uh, we'll probably even clean it out here and then we're gonna pull it in tonight. Uh, it got way colder than it was supposed to be. It's like 61 degrees out right now, so we're gonna go ahead and paint later. All right, we just got our first base coat on. I didn't go as light as I wanted to, but uh, it's, been about 10 minutes since I hit the first house, so I'm going to hit it now with a medium coat. Uh, we're going to put a little bit more color on now. Uh, as you can see, it looks kind of camo-ish. We have a hoodie from Hollister that looks like this. Uh, not that that matters, but we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of more color on here and get this put on here. We're going to go for three, three coats, so let's get this second one on there. All right, guys, we got the car outside, and first thing I say is it's looking pretty dang good. Uh, there is a little bit of dust in the clear coat, and there's a little bit of orange peel, so we're going to have to sand that down with some 1500 and 2000, and then buff and polish it out. Uh, then we're going to hit it with, I don't know if we ceramic coat it or not. But that is going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see a part two or more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I upload. Peace.